Hi. With the free 3D software, Blender, it's an easy task to blur moving objects in a video. Let me show you how this is done. First off, open up Blender. If you don't have Blender installed, or if you don't know how to do video editing in Blender, I've made a simple video tutorial about that. Please check the link in the description below. The startup file for the Blender will be like this. In my video tutorial about video editing, I've created a custom workspace, named it Video Editing, and I adjusted all the editors. Now let's drag and drop our demo video into the Blender. Let's adjust the playable area and make it fit our video strip. The end frame for this video is 495, so in the timeline editor, set the end frame to 495. Click the plus button to add workspace. Select VFX masking. Here in this workspace, we're gonna work with just two editors, Dope Sheet Editor and Movie Clip Editor. Both of them use masking mode. We don't want this editor, so let's use this space for Dope Sheet. Hover over at the top right corner of the Dope Sheet Editor. When the mouse icon turns to plus sign, click and drag to the left side to collapse the next editor. Slide Movie Clip Editor to the upside. This vertical space for the dope sheet is quite enough to display only single row of keyframes. Drag and drop the video into the masking workspace. Press N and T to hide sidebar panels. Use your mouse wheel to zoom in or zoom out. To pan around, press and hold middle mouse button and move your mouse. And this is called 2D cursor. When we add predefined shape for the mask, it's going to place it at the 2D cursor. Press G for grabbing the object and move your mouse. Press S to scale. You can lock the scale to specific axis by pressing X or Y. If you click anywhere, it's gonna deselect the square mask. To select it again, press A. If you have an organic shape and you want to create custom mask for it, then press and hold Ctrl key, then click to add first vertex and second vertex the same way. This time select any vertex and press V to set handle type and select auto. Now you can adjust the curve with the handle. While one vertex is selected, press L to select all connected vertices and press X to delete. Let's get back to our subject. Let's identify the first frame of movement because this is gonna be the first keyframe to add. While you are on the movie text editor, press I to insert keyframe. You can see it in the dope sheet editor. Now let's identify the end frame of movement. Align the square mask with the object. And press I to insert keyframe to memorize the new location of the square mask. Now we have two keyframes. And as you can see, we have a movement between these two keys. But it is not aligned perfectly around the text. So we have to adjust it when we see an offset. First, enable Auto Keying to automatically insert keyframe 
at any change in square mask properties. Here we don't have movement, it just still frames. So we have to identify the range of these frames by inserting keyframe manually, by pressing I to identify the end frame of these still frames. And from this keyframe, we have a movement till this frame. The rest is the same process. I'm just using left and right arrows on the keyboard to advance or backward the frames. I'm pressing G to align the square mask. And the keyframes are automatically inserted. At the end, I have an instant change, so the change must be on the next frame. In other words, there will be no in-between frames. I notice that we need another mask here. Let's get back to the first frame. While the square mask is selected, Press Shift and D to duplicate the mask. Right click to leave it at the same location of the square mask. Now I have two masks. One is moving and one is still. I have to hide the still mask at the end. and it is an instant change, so it will be on the next frame. First add manually keyframe by pressing I, then go to the next frame and move the mask outside. That's it. Give the mask profile any name you want. Let's get back to the video editing. Make sure the video strip is selected. Then I click Add Adjustment Layer. Scale it to fit the entire video strip. Make sure Adjustment Layer is selected. Then I click on Strip tab. Change Blending Mode to alpha over. Click on modifiers tab. Click add strip modifier. Select mask. Set mask input type to mask. And in the mask field, choose your mask profile. Click on absolute for mask time. While adjustment layer is selected, click add effect strip Gaussian Blur. Make sure Gaussian Blur is selected. Go to Strip tab and change size X to 20. As you can see, the text is a blurred. But if you want more blur, while Gaussian Blur is selected, add another Gaussian Blur on top and double the size X to 40. We've got 
even more blur. That's it. Let's render the video. Render is finished. Let's see the final result. That's all. I hope it was easy to follow and helpful. Thanks for watching.